And we're back from our little break, and we're starting season three of Frightfully Forgotten. But to start things off, what are we drinking today, Justin? Well, we're drinking plain old life-giving nourishing water. Mm. If you want the recipe, click the link above. Today we're going to be talking about one of our favorite parts. I can't do this. What? This. A vacation from ourselves? Well, when you said we were going to take a month off, I thought that's what you meant. No, I meant it's a busy time of year. It's Christmas, New Year's, there's a lot going on. Not uh, this. Oh, I don't know, I don't really think it's all that bad. I can't even look at myself with a mirror. I look ridiculous. I'm getting rid of it right now. and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies, the first one of season three. The first real one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before we get started, though, what are we drinking today, Adam? Lord Summer Isle Scottish Export Ale. <laughs> if you want the recipe, click the link above our heads. Today we're going to be talking about Child's Play 3, done in 1991. This one was directed by uh, Jack Bender, and he didn't really do a whole lot of movie stuff. Uh, it's mostly TV. It's written by uh, Don Mancini. Uh, he did the first two. It stars Justin Whalen as Andy, but it's not the same actor who plays Andy in the first two. Yeah. Perry Reeves, who plays the love interest in this. And of course, Brad Dourif voices Charles Lee Ray, <laughs> Chucky. He's so much better than Chucky. Yeah. Like, if you see him in... in um, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, his performance is brilliant in that. It's it's award-worthy, yeah. I think. Yeah. So this movie starts out eight years later, and they're reopening the good guy factory. It shows these tongs coming down and crunches into the melted-up body, I guess, of mm. Chucky, who... That's how he died in the last one. This thing lifts up this melted mass. After the opening credits, which you see kind of Chucky reform, and you see his face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this company's so cheap where they have to use the, an old melted doll. <laughs> and all his clothes and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they put the whole thing in. Uh, the CEO, Mr. Sullivan, he gets the first doll off the line. But while he's trying to relax, all these weird things start happening. Like he's got some train thing that starts <laughs> going on its own. Chucky's terrorizing him. He takes like these darts, goes to what, use the phone? And he throws a dart right in his hand. He's like, oh! <laughs> and then he throws him in his back. <laughs> his back <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Puts a yo-yo string around his neck and strangles him to death. Nothing like a little strangulation to get the circulation going. He's trying to find Andy. Where are you, you little shit? <laughs> <laughs> Andy is attending a military academy. He is met with the asshole Lieutenant Colonel yeah. Shelton, yeah. who is a big prick. But he's also kind of a pushover. Chucky somehow delivers himself <laughs> to Andy, and they get this fucking kid that's like way too young to be in the school. Like everyone <laughs> yeah. else is like ten years older, and then there's this this kid. He's supposed to deliver this to Andy, and he drops it, and it kind of tears open the package a bit. You can see it's a good guy doll. Wow! <laughs> you delete the music. <laughs> yeah. So Chucky bursts out. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought good guy dolls were only supposed to say three things. I knew it improved. improved. <laughs> Chucky decides to teach uh, Tyler how to play hide the soul. <laughs> the colonel guy takes the good guy doll away from Tyler and ends up throwing it in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. And he goes right into the, the garbage truck. Ah, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Pretends to be like a kid or something that's trapped in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Mr. Oh. 
So he, he escapes. Chucky just wreaks havoc on his military school. In the meantime, Andy kind of befriends this other kind of outcast, White Hearse, and he also becomes interested romantically with De Silva. What kind of name is that? <laughs> the movie kind of culminates on the war games, not the shitty WCW pay-per-view. <laughs> the military school splits off in the teams. There's the red team, the blue team. They go to war with paint guns. <laughs> Chucky decides to switch all the paint pellets with real bullets. This ought to slow the pricks down. <laughs> <laughs> and he sets them out to have their war games. If you haven't seen Child's Play 3, continue watching to check it out. So why did we want to feature Child's Play 3? It's season 3. Yeah. We were talking about underrated part 3s. The first one, of course, is iconic. Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky. Those are all so ridiculous. This yeah. one kind of gets left out because it's a little bit more mundane. It's right. not as over the top and ridiculous as they tend to get. Chucky's lines the dialogue, are just yeah. Yeah. outstanding. Like everything he says is actually funny. In the context of the movie, it's not really all that stupid, yeah. you know. Yeah, every time he opens his mouth, it's gold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Don't fuck with the Chuck. <laughs> Every kill is fantastic yep. in this movie as well. I like when he kills the barber. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, of course, the oh, the weird barber. The barber is always weird in these military movies. Yep. Actually, he's the dad in Hellraiser, and he's also Garrick in... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrick in Deep Space Nine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. He has that line, eh, when, it, when he shaves people's heads. Yeah. Presto, you're bald. Yeah, and when Chuck kills him, presto, you're dead. <laughs> He doesn't even actually kill the superintendent guy. Yeah. He dies of a heart attack yeah. from seeing him. <laughs> Balls and all that stuff. All those maps and those... Yeah. Those figurines. Those figurines. And... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't even have to do anything. This movie is just damn fun. Front to back, it doesn't really lose your attention. It doesn't get boring. Um, again, you know, Brad Dourif just kills it. Yeah. The lines that are written for him are pretty damn good. This is 1991, so it's still within that time we're using practical effects as well, right? Yeah, apparently I read that there was a little bit of CGI. This is the first time there's ever any CGI used in a Child's Play movie. But it's so subtle, I couldn't even pinpoint where it was when I was yeah. watching it. I'm like, where is the CGI? I don't see any. And the way they use the doll in this is a lot less blatant. Like, in the first one, I hate when they show those far <laughs> shots, and it's the obviously some the kid, kid, yeah, <laughs> some kid in some suit. The doll has gone from being this big to this big yeah. suddenly. It's like even oh, from far yeah, away. Yeah. But in this, it's all subtle. Like you don't really see Chucky move or walk. Yeah. It's just implied. Yeah, it's uh, you hear him kind of walk, and then you look, and he's gone, and he's somewhere else, right? Yeah, you it's see uh, him move. Old movie magic. Yeah, exactly. Making, right. Yeah, and that's how they used to do it, and it worked just fine. If you do see him walk, I think like there's that scene where he's walking down that corridor, but you only see him from like yeah. half up, kind of like how they did the Terminator. Yeah, exactly. Know, sort of. Yeah, so you don't have to show the whole thing. You just got some legs going. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, that's, it's it's a smart way of doing it. The music is not really memorable or. It doesn't really work for the movie all that well. Yeah. And, you know, the one piece of bad casting is uh, that Justin Whalen as Andy, it doesn't suit that kind of, like, I'm not taking shit from this doll anymore. He's a bit of a patsy yeah. or a pushover. Yeah, very much so. There's a scene where Shelton hits Whitehurst with that glove. Like, yeah. Whitehurst! <laughs> and, you know, and that we used to do that. We'd call it a Whitehurst. When, <laughs> yeah. when you'd hit someone with a glove, we'd call that a Whitehurst. Yeah, we used to joke around and slap each other yeah. or whatever, and we'd call that a Whitehurst. <laughs> <laughs> so, for some reason, if you've looked over Child's Play 3, because, you know, sometimes the third child yeah. kind of gets left out or, or looked over... Uh, please check it out. It's tons of fun. Tons of good uh, Chucky dialogue and one-liners. A lot of good kills. Yeah. Very entertaining. It's a great party movie. Yeah, and a pretty epic um, ending. Like, the, the whole battle between Andy and Chucky at the end is pretty epic. And where it takes place is pretty neat, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, until next time, keep, keep drinking. Keep drinking. <laughs>